The 2003 Subaru Impreza STI by Revolution Motor Store. Just recently, we brought you the announcement and video of Revolution Motor Store's Subaru Impreza STI that it dubbed Project STI becoming the fastest Impreza to ever lap Nürburgring. Well, a car like this is never safe from the poking prodding of the folks here at top speed. After a quick email exchange, we were able to get the information needed on this Super Impreza to pass on to you. After getting all of the juicy details from the UK, we quickly realized that this is no simple tuner throw it together and pray it works kind of car. Nope, Revolution took to this Subi to task, stripping it of the majority of its tunable parts and either tweaked or outright replaced the ones that were not absolutely perfect for this run around the back quote ring. From the engine all the way to the discrete tailpipes, Revolution's engineers and builders racked their brains to figure out how to squeeze every bit of power and knock off every ounce of weight while still keeping the car relatively streetable, and we emphasize the word, relatively. Click past the jump to read all about this insane build. Exterior When this beast is lapping Nürburgring at breakneck speeds, it may appear to be just another Subaru Impreza, but once this Subi comes to a stop, all the details come into focus. First thing we notice is that Revolution fattened up its stance by way of an ABW wide body kit that covers those massive 19-inch Oz Superturismo LM wheels wrapped up in super sticky Yokohama AD08 rubber-sized 255-30SR19. All Impreza enthusiasts likely notice that this is unlike any other one they have seen, it's missing two doors. This thanks to a two-door conversion kit, yup, Revolution Motor Store decided it did much fancy the two rear doors, so it got rid of them. You may also notice that the front fascia doesn't match up to a 2003 model, that's because Revolution chose to replace it with a Hawkeye front end. Up front, you'll find a WRC carbon fiber lip, a set of tinted headlights to help give the old Subi a more sinister look, a carbon fiber hood, carbon fiber mirrors and a Zunesport custom-built grille. Around the back side, there are tinted taillights to match up the headlights, an aluminum trunk lid and a carbon fiber rear spoiler by April. In a more unorthodox more, Revolution cut out the spare tire well and welded in a flat panel to help air flow underneath the car unimpeded. Covering the body is a coat of Lamborghini Grigio Telesto gray paint. Interior Revolution Motor Store added some mods to the interior to go along with the craziness that it injected on the outside. Unfortunately, we don't have any images of the interior, but we do have plenty of information to pass on, so, you're going to have to use your imagination here. The tuner started off by replacing the factory dashboard with one from a 2012 WRX STI and adding in some carbon fiber dash inserts to help dress it up a bit. Sitting in this new dash is an AIM digital unit with data logging and LED gauges, and a Pioneer head unit with iPod integration. The dryer now grips a spec CJDM steering wheel that Revolution trimmed in Alcantara for extra grip and reduced slippage from moisture. A pair of Recaro position front seats now sit in place of the standard seats and TRSFIA 4-point harnesses hold the driver and passenger in place. So how about the rear seats? A backquote ring monster has no need for rear seats, so Revolution deleted them to help save weight and make room for the custom-built half-roll cage. Capping off the interior mods is black WR1 carpeting, black painted gear shifter and headliner, and the obligatory handheld fire extinguisher, should things get a little hot inside. Drivetrain As expected, under the hood is where the majority of the modifications took place. Revolution Motor Store had a few options here, as a 2.5-liter engine delivers awesome low-end torque, but its builders had doubts about the strength of the block. The other option was to use the Japan spec Impreza's EJ 22.0 liter Boxer 4. However, the EJ 20 just couldn't deliver the 500 horsepower and 500 pound feet goal that the tuner had in mind. To alleviate this problem, Revolution stripped the EJ 20 down to the block, bored it out, honed the cylinders, and soda blasted the block. It then installed a 2.1 stroker kit to increase the engine's displacement beyond just the revised bore. Then came the actual build. Revolution started off with replacing every inferior part with upgraded components, including the crank, connecting rods, valve springs and gaskets with Cosworth parts. The oil sump was replaced with a high-volume, baffled Cosworth unit. 
The block was polished off with the addition of a Kevlar timing belt driven by lightweight pulleys, that'll keep things moving in sync, and a set of 14mm Cosworth head bolts. What good are all of high dollar internals without some good old boost, right? The pressure is put on by a Turbo Technics S206 turbocharger that is rated for 500 plus horsepower. Keeping the pressurized air cool is a Hyperflow Monster intercooler. With extra CFM heading to the intake, Revolution saw it fit to up the amount of fuel via a 400 liter per hour, 105 gallon per hour in tank fuel pump and a Bosch 044 external pump, which pumps 300 liters per hour, 79 gallons per hour inside the engine bay. All of this high-tech fueling is controlled by a Cytec fuel pump and pressure regulator that delivers the petrol to a set of 1000 cc ID injectors mounted in Tamai parallel fuel rails. After all of this, Revolution Motor Store capped things off with a 15-row oil cooler, Forge Motorsports silicone hoses, a Mishimoto alloy radiator, Miller's lubricant, a dry cell battery and air conditioning delete. This attention to detail adds up to Revolution Motor Store meeting its goal by squeezing 518 horsepower and 508 pound-feet of torque. The engine can be detuned for safety or reliability, but the 500-plus ponies are there and ready for action. Delivering the power to the wheels in a 6-speed quick-shift transmission linked to the engine via an Exidy Hypercomp R multi-plate carbon fiber clutch. Oh, and the much-needed STI gear shifter knob suspension and brakes when tackling the twist of nurburgring a perfectly tuned suspension system is key revolution motor store was happy to oblige by adding intain proflex coilovers top mounts and electronic damping force controller in-house front and rear strut braces power flex suspension bushings white line anti-lift kit and anti-roll bars and subframe bushings to keep the rubber on the road Dragging this 500 horsepower monster to a stop is no easy task, so the tuner bumped up the braking power significantly. It installed a Tarox 355mm 13.97 inch front brake kit with a 10 piston caliper, a set of Tarox rear rotors and pads, Tarox brake lines, a four port master cylinder with a Cusco master cylinder bracket, and filled the brake system with DOT4 brake fluid for good measure. Conclusion well, there is little left to say about Project STI than saying it is simply incredible. Revolution Motor Store made certain that every bolt and nut was ready to handle the stress of circling the twisty Nürburgring. So many tuner fail when it comes to the little details and these folks definitely passed the test with flying colors. It's no wonder this is now the fastest Impreza to ever lap the backquote ring. Love it 500 horsepower at your disposal no expense was spared fastest Impreza on the backquote ring. Leave it too bad they're so far away. If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.